Hello, all my little sweet tarts, whether you're new or you're returning. I like to do tutorials, and I'm on a mission to do 365 washcloths this year, whether I get them done in a month or takes me all year. But ever so often, I will also put a tutorial with it. I probably won't do every one of them, but here's one that I'm going to share with you tonight. This one is going to be called the mini cloud stitch. What I'm calling a mini cloud stitch. Okay. It is a one row repeat. It's in multiples of three. And I think that it's simple enough that everybody can do it. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is, I am using, I love this cotton. It's by um, Hobby Lobby. And it is, let me just read what it says so everybody knows. The name of this is Pewter. It is 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 180 yards, or 165 meters. It is 100% cotton. It is a number four weight. And it says if you're using knitting needles to use a US 8 or a 5 millimeter. Or if you're in a US term, it's an I9 5.5. But I'm not going to use that. I am going to be using a size 6 millimeter J10. You will also need a pair of scissors to cut your end and you will need a needle and I use a pointed one to weave in my ends. So if you want to do this mini cloud stitch washcloth, get your supplies ready and let's go. All right, for this washcloth, I am going to be doing a chain of 27. It is in multiples of three, and then we're going to add one more. So I will chain 28 chains. All right, so I put a slip knot on my hook. Give it a little tug, and I'm going to chain 28 chains. So a chain is yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So I'm going to do that 28 times. So I've got one, two, three. That's 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. All right, so in the second chain from the hook, the loop on your hook does not count as a uh, chain. Your chain is the ones we've already made. So here's one, here's two. We are going to do a half double crochet in that second chain from the hook. So a half double crochet is yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, and go through all three. That is a half double crochet. And I'll do that with you again because we're going to go right back down into the same spot and we're going to put another half double crochet. So yarn over into that loop or stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. Half double crochet. We are going to skip this stitch and we're going to go into this stitch, the next stitch. So and we're going to make a single crochet. So we're going to go into that stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, draw up a loop, and go through two. And in the very next stitch, we're going to put two half double crochets. So yarn over, go
go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. That's one, and we're going to turn around and do that same stitch again, which is a half double crochet, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and go through three. So the stitch pattern is skip one, go into the next with a single crochet, and two half double crochets in the very next stitch. Put another half double crochet in the same stitch. We're going to skip one. We're going to go into the next stitch. We're going to put a single crochet in that stitch. In the very next stitch right there, we're going to put two half double crochets. Okay, we're going to skip one. We're going to go into the next stitch with a single crochet. And in the next stitch, we're going to do a half, put two half double crochets in that stitch. There's one, and there's two. We're going to skip one, a single crochet into the next. two halves into the next stitch, skip one, single crochet into the next, two halves into the next. There's one, and there's two. We're going to skip one. We're going to put a single crochet into the next. And into the next stitch, we're going to put two half double crochets. So there's one. And there's two. We're going to skip one. Single crochet into the next. Whoops. two halves into the next. We're going to skip one. We have two stitches left. We're going to skip this one and we're going to put a single crochet into the last one. This, this stitch pattern will not mirror what you started off with. Okay? You will always start with three, uh, two, two half double crochets and end with the single crochet on every row. So let's chain one, turn our work, and we're going to always start with two half double crochets in the very first stitch. So yarn over, go into that very first stitch and do ha two half double crochets. So there's one, and there's two. We're going to skip one, and into the next one, we're going to put a single crochet. And down here where this was a single on the very first row, we're going to put two half double crochets. So there's one, and there's two. We're going to skip this stitch right here. Skip that one. Single crochet into that one. And into this uh, single crochet from the uh, previous row, we're going to put two half double crochets into it. There's one. And there's two. We're going to skip this stitch 
and we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to put a single crochet and into the single crochet down here we're going to put a half double crochet two of them so it's like I said it's a one row repeat it's a skip one single crochet into the next stitch two half double crochets okay so let's work that all the way to the end skip one single into the next two halves into that single crochet skip one single into the next two halves in that single skip one single two halves into the single below skip one single crochet two halves We're going to skip one and in this very last one we are going to put a single crochet. We will always end with a single crochet. We're going to chain one, turn. We will always start with two half double crochets in the very first stitch. So there's one half, there's two half. And we go back to our stitch pattern again. We're going to skip that one we're going to go into that one and we're going to put a single crochet where this single crochet is down here we're going to put two half double crochets in that space all right skip one single crochet two halves into the single I'm not sure if on the first one, first couple rows you can see the stitch pattern, but I'm going to turn it here. I'm going to put a couple more in and see. Skip that one. We put a single crochet and we put two halves in that. So what makes it a cloud stitch is if you turn, can you see the ridge right there? There's a there's a bump there, there's a bump there, there's a bump there, a bump there. The more that you do it, let's see, let's look at this one. Okay, can you see them? This row is a cloud, it's bumpy, this row. So the clouds are in the back there, these clouds are sitting up front. So when you get down to your finished one, I am going to scroll. I'm going to say square mine up, but it's not necessarily actually squared. So this will end up being about a seven and a half inch cloth, washcloth, because this is soft enough that you can use in the bath, in the uh, tub. So I'm going to do this for seven and a half inches. Now, if you go over a little bit into a quarter or something like that that's fine or if you go under it's okay this is just what I'm doing you can make them any size that you want to so I'm gonna let you go and finish your washcloth and I will be back at the end to show you the final stitch all right welcome back we're going to finish this up and all I'm going to do is do a single crochet across now um, if you look at your pattern and if this is your single crochet front then you want to do a single crochet front across here but if this is your back 
then go ahead and do one more row and then do it in reverse okay so all we're going to do is a single crochet we're going to go down into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over and go through two and we're just going to work into each of the stitches across now i'm going to make mine a little tight because um as you're crocheting these get a little loose and stuff so i want to pull them back in so i'm using still a six millimeter hook i'm just not going to open up that far i'm going to stick real close and i'm going to pull through and make a tight single crochet that's all i'm going to do Just single crochet across, kind of make them a little tight. And then when we get down here to the end, all I'm going to do is chain one and um, cut my yarn or bind off whatever word you want to use so here we are okay i'm trying to do this slow So here we are. A couple more stitches. Make sure you get under two legs here on the end. I got a knot in there. I'll get it out. Okay, I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to pull through, but I got a knot, so I'll lift that up there. Give it a little tug. I usually use my fingernail, push it down. So there you go. You have your mini cloud washcloth. So I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see all the little bumps. Maybe it'll show. I don't know. Can you see them? All right. So weave in your ends. I'm just going to do this one over here since I got a knot in that one. I'm going to take my needle. And I like to go ahead and give it a tug on the other one and go I go outside the knot so the knots on this side so I'm going to go outside it and I'm going to make it part of the pattern only by pulling it in so I'm going to go down weave in around pull it through and then stretch it back out and then I'm going to weave right back through that but I'm going to weave up and down up and down getting different thread fibers this time and then whoa that one didn't work did it <laughs> but that's okay we're, that's good that I made a mistake like that okay go ahead and put that on there since it's small and we're going to pull through okay that's all I'm going to do. Now, if you want to feel secure, want to think that's not enough and you want to do it again, go ahead and do that. Just go ahead and do your stitch all the way across. Leave yourself a um, little bit of the eye that hanging out there. Go through it and pull through. Three of them back and forth should be enough. So go ahead and give it a snip and do 
the other side and you have a cloud washcloth. I think you can see the bumps there. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.